All right, now that we've renamed our files, we're ready to go. So we're going to open negative tree, and we're going to use this file to learn a few of the basic tools in Photoshop. Now this is Photoshop Elements 8, and some students may have an earlier version or perhaps a later version. Most of the tools are very similar, but you might have to do a little bit of problem solving to find out exactly the tool that you need that I am showing you on the screen here today. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to distinguish between the image and the canvas. So the canvas is the thing that the image is actually on. Right now the image and the canvas are the same size. So if, you see, if I zoom this bigger, so not zoom, if I make the screen bigger, you can see that there's a gray background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the image menu and I'm going to click resize and I'm going to click canvas size. Now the width I'm going to leave at 6.25 but I'm going to change the height and I'm going to change the height slightly larger than double the size. So double the size would be a long decimal. It's faster if I just do 9.6 for now. So I hit OK. And now we notice that the image on the screen has changed a little bit. And this is where we need to talk about transparency. Transparency means you can see through something. An image has transparency in it when the image does not reach all the way to the edge of the canvas. You can tell that there's transparency in an image when you see the gray and white checkerboards. Now if I click um, on the picture here you can see I can move it around and I've actually given you two image files to work with to start. You can tell that there's two images not only because I'm moving them around but if you look in the right side in the layers palette you can see there are two layers and if I move this image around the thumbnail in the layers palette changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move this to the top and it kind of snaps into place. If you can't move your image try clicking on the move tool which is the letter V. I'm going to click on the bottom image and I'm going to move that down and hopefully I can snap it. There we go, it snapped. And you can see at the bottom that I have a little bit of gray and white checkerboard still. We'll deal with that shortly with a tool. Now this is called negative tree and what we're going to try and do is create the effect of seeing underground or perhaps seeing something reflected in a mirror or in, in a pool of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on our bottom image here and we are going to go again to the image menu and this time instead of hitting resize we are going to click on rotate. And in the rotate menu you can see there's quite a number of different options. If I click flip vertical that looks like what I want to do, right? So let's try that. What it did was it flipped the entire image. So that's not actually what we want to do. We just want to flip the layer. Now to undo my mistake, I'm going to hit control Z with my left pinky finger and my left middle finger. You should have your right hand on the mouse and your left hand on the keyboard pretty much at all times. So I'm going to go up. I've got my image selected again. I'm going to go image rotate and not flip vertical I'm going to say flip layer vertical so there we go we're almost done actually the you'll notice here that I'm zooming out using my scroll wheel and I just wanted to show you again the overall effect and that we still have some gray check checkerboard here at the bottom so now we need to get rid of those so I'm going to use what's called the crop tool so the crop tool is here on the left. You can hit C on your keyboard or you can click crop. I find it's faster to use the keyboard. What I'm going to do is I'm going to crop starting in my top left and I'm going to start off the canvas and I'm going to go down and you notice it doesn't show up until I hit the canvas. I'm going to go down to the bottom right and it even snaps for me right to where I want to go. So it's inferring correctly that I want to cut off that checkerboard transparent background. You'll notice now that there's a green check mark 
and a red kind of no smoking circle. So that cancels my operation. I have to hit the check mark if that's what I want. So I like that. I hit check mark. And now the last thing we're going to do, we'll go back to the move tool, so V for move tool. Um, I'm going to select the bottom layer. I can select it in the layers palette as well. And I'm going to apply a filter such as perhaps this one here, the rough pastels are actually plastic wrap, looks really interesting. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to drag it over to the bottom picture and I'm going to let it go. And I should get some kind of menu. Now you can play around with these settings. I'm just going to hit OK to show you what it'll look like. Hit OK. And there we kind of have a sense of a tree being reflected in the water. This is just a basic activity to get you started. So good luck and once you've done this you need to hit control S to save your work and you should save it as the existing file so when you say save it'll replace it that's fine because we don't need our original and you're ready to hand it in.